written now the next diagram that is in front of you, Rudra. It is about the germinal layer. Are you able to understand the meaning of germinal layer? Yes, ma'am. How many different types of germinal layers we have, Rudra? Three. Three. What are the names of it? Ectoderm, endoderm, mesoderm. Correct. So ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. We have the three different types of germinal layer. Peter, why it is called a germ cell? Germinal layer. Anyone? Rudra, I'm why is it the germinal layer? Ah, because it comes from the germ cell. You remember we done sperm and ova. They get fused to form zygote. Two cell stage, four cell stage, eight cell stage, morula, blastula, gastrula. The stage at which germinal layers get observed. Correct, beta. Are you able to recognize, Rudra, this A diagram it is of? Diploblastic or triploblastic? Diplo. Good beta. Good beta. Diploblastic. What is the meaning of diploblastic? Di means to. Blastic means now from the blastula after the gastrula, two germinal layers get observed. So those organisms in which two germinal layers observed. That is called as diploblastic. Okay. Uh, are you able to see better the above one, the purple one color? It is of ectoderm. The grayish one color, it is of endoderm. And in between ectoderm and endoderm, what is present? Rudra, between ectoderm and endoderm, what is present? Anji, can you please say again? I'm mesoglia layer. Mesoglia layer. Peter, can you split this word mesoglia? What is the meaning of meso? Rudra? Middle. Meso middle. Good beta. Glia. How you can connect glia? Glia, it is a non-cellular layer. Ha, non-cellular layer. Jelly-like substance. So yes, jelly-like jelly -like. substance hmm, between the ectoderm and endoderm. That is called as mesoglia. So in diploblastic, are the students please focus? Outer layer, it is ectoderm. Inner layer, it is endoderm. And in between, Rudra said very correctly, it is a non-cellular layer, a gelatinous layer. Non-cellular layer. Mesoglia is present. Okay. Now my question to everyone, where the diploblastic organisms are observed? Which phylum have diploblastic organization? Okay, good, good, Jia, good, Shiti, right. So in the phylum Nidaria and Tinochora, we have the diploblastic organization. Can you please tell me, Rudra, other students, why we are not referring Porifera? Anyone? Why we have not said Porifera? There are no formation of germ layers. Uh, so, in the case of the porifera, we have the cellular grade of the organization. Ectoderm, endoderm, mesoglia, not observed. In porifera, mesenchyme layer is present. Remember, in porifera, mesenchyme layer or mesohyle layer is present. Everyone clear till this point? Diploblastic, those organisms in which two germinal layer. Ectoderm, endoderm, mesoglia in between. For example, in the phylum Nidaria and Tinophora. And when I say about triploblastic, triploblastic means that contain three germinal layer. What are those? Ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. That one can call it to be as triploblastic. Rudra, can you please tell triploblastic germinal layer organization start from which phylum? Think very easy. Platy element is because you understand in diploblastic we have tinopora. So from triploblastic platy element is cell chordata. Everyone clear about this germinal layer organization? Everyone, yes or no? Okay, may I change my slide? 
good so this is just a revision for you that diploblastic means those organism that have ectoderm and endoderm and in between mesoglia for example in the phylum lidaria and kinopora by the triploblastic having three terminal layer ecto meso endo starting from the phylum platyhelminthes pericordata now we have a time to answer the questions anyone okay so let's start from the rudra because he get an initiative to on the video can you please tell me rudra that the first diagram it is on which symmetry symmetry हाँ जी प्लीज से अगेन मैम रेडियल सिमेट्री वेरी गुड यस दिस इज़ अ रेडियल सिमेट्री हाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज़ अ रेडियल सिमेट्री मैम देर आर मेनी प्लेन पासिंग थ्रू वन एक्सिस वेरी नाइस एंड रेडियल सिमेट्री इट इज़ ऑब्जर्व्ड इन व्हिच फाइनल सिलेंटेड आर टीनोफोरा वेरी गुड सो निडेरिया टीनोफोरा � and one more example adult adult ecaidodon right now the next diagram it is of which symmetry bilateral correct so next diagram it is a bilateral symmetry please tell bilateral symmetry start from which phylum platyhelminth correct so it start from the phylum platyhelminth is still for data no, other students need to answer in the chat box okay everyone wants to become doctor not only dr rudra Other students also, Doctor Nandika, Doctor Rashi, everyone. So please answer in the chat box. Line visible, Rudra, Avantika, Ishwarya. Okay. Please tell, bacho, that A diagram. It is of uh, diploblastic or triploblastic. A diagram. It is of diploblastic. You also need to answer, Rudra. B diagram. It is of audio through audio, Rudra. Your audio is off. Hmm, now it's fine. Triplo. B diagram. It is of triploblastic. Correct, beta. Please label this one. This A one. What is this? Mesoglia layer. Correct. Mesoglia layer because in this mesoglia layer you are able to find that it is a cellular layer. Please tell students that diploblastic organization it is observed in which phylum? Diploblastic. Cilentrata. Huh? And then. Inofora. Correct. So these are the diploblastic. But from the platyhelminthes, we have the triploblastic. Absolutely right.